I'd also like to rope in uh, Dr. Surendra Pal, who's still with us on the broadcast. We've, of course, spoken about their mental situation, their mental state, uh, but people are also concerned about their physical state in particular. There's a lot that is being uh, said with regards to their health concerns after returning to Earth. You know, uh, there are experts who are concerned about muscle atrophy and weakness and bone density loss, fluid shifts and vision issues cardiovascular strains. So could you explain to us a little bit about uh, what are the sort of health concerns that are there? You know, there's also a baby feet um, concern that certain people have because while in space, uh, the person's feet does not really touch anything. So they, they, because of the friction, the feet becomes very soft like a baby. So they're also touted to have certain challenges as far as walking is concerned. So uh, could you explain that to our viewers? You see, uh, all these things are expected and they simulate both practically, experimentally, as well as, uh, you know, on, on, com on computer services. And uh, the health uh, specialists do take care of these things. Uh, what happens is this, many of them, I mean, the majority of these things are reversible. But except, in my opinion, some of the things are, if the damage occurs due to radiation, See, although they monitor all the radiation doses on their body, inside the ISS, outside, when they go out for a maintenance purpose, then also radiation doses are monitored. So, if the radiation damage is occurred, and uh, some of the, those damages are irreversible. But till now, uh, uh, I, I was there 10 uh, days back in uh, uh, Johnson Space Center. I was talking to some persons who have been working there. He said only few astronauts have faced which are irreversible things. Uh, otherwise, uh, majority of them have recovered very well and uh, the, their physical training inside the ISS, like, you know, of health-wise, they do a lot of exercises, they do a lot of psychological exercises, plus the, they take the appropriate food, medicines, etc. Everything is proper. So they recover very fast. It takes uh, something like that two to three months when they are perfectly normal. Thank you. Indeed, I'd like to rope in uh, Mr. Tanvir Ahmed once again with us on the broadcast. We've discussed about uh, the health concerns at large, but one very crucial aspect of this entire return mission has been 